Hi everybody, this is Yogi Angel 7 Rachel, and um, I was listening to, I think it was a rebroadcast today, of um, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me, which is on NPR, and um, they had a rebroadcast of many different guests that they had had on, and they would have just like five or ten minutes of each one of those guests. And one of those guests that was on um, happened to be Dick Van Dyke. And I grew up watching a lot of 1950s television like Dick Van Dyke and, um, you know, I Love Lucy. And those shows are really deeply ingrained in me and I love them a lot. And uh, it just so happened that Dick Van Dyke sang the actual lyrics to the theme song, which I had never heard before. And he even explained that Maury Amsterdam wrote those lyrics. And um, I'm going to give a link to it so that you can see it too. And I'm also going to um, put the words down below as well. But I wanted to sing them to you because it's just so unusual. Um, it's, I found it incredibly yeah. spiritual, and they just express a lot of yogic principles, um, you know, that I was wanting to talk about. So I thought, oh gosh, it's so simple, it's so perfect, it's so easy. So, um, yeah. All right. So you think that you've got trouble, well, trouble's a bubble, so tell old Mr. Trouble to get lost. Why not hold your head up high and stop crying, start trying, and don't forget to keep your fingers crossed. When you find the joy of living is loving and giving, you'll be there when the winning dice are tossed. A smile is just a frown that's turned upside down, so smile and that frown will get lost. And don't forget to keep your fingers crossed. I thought that was so perfect. In every way, it's completely balanced. Um, I like the fact that it it really talks about that the whole point of living is um, to love and to give. Uh, what a perfect place to find yourself, you know, in the center of gratitude, just in a place where that's all your heart is open to. Um, it also talks about how trouble is simply a bubble around you, like an idea that could easily change and you can see through it and that it prevents you from um, interacting with other people, but that it's so easy to get rid of by just smiling um, and remembering that the opposites are really the same, like a smile is a frown turned upside down, all that kind of thing, where just a simple change of perception can totally ex expel, expel, I guess propel you into another state of mind and um, I just love the whole thing and I just thought it was so perfect since I've been wanting to do a series kind of on yogic principles um, I'm always amazed at how simple it is not simplistic um, but easy to apply and um, so I hope you enjoyed it and I yeah take a listen and look to it uh, from the show if you can and um, bright blessings. Take care. Bye.